Hello, this is Numbers Lesson 5.1. Uh, in this, I will discuss some rules of divisibility with questions. Now, we did the divisibility by 2, 4, 8, 16, 5, 25, 125, 625. Now, we will do the divisibility for composite number. For example, 6. Number is divisible by 6 when number is divisible by both 2 and 3. If the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then only the number is divisible by 6. What about 12? A number is divisible by 12 when it is divisible by both 3 and 4. Why 3 and 4? Why not 6 and 2? Why can't we take 6 and 2? We can't take 6 and 2 because a number divisible by 6 and 2 may or may not be divisible by 12. So, what's the basic concept behind this? Whenever you need to find the divisibility by composite number n you have to check you have to break that number you have to break the number into product of co prime numbers and then check the divisibility by all that is what we have to do check the divisibility by all for example, 12, we need to check 3 and 4, not 6 and 2. A number which is divisible by 3 as well as 4 will always be divisible by 12. What about 36? How we will check a number is divisible by 36 or not? Now 36 is 12 into 3 also. What we have to do? We have to break the number into product of co-prime numbers. So break in can be 12 and 3, 9 and 4, 18 and 2. What are the co-prime numbers? Co-prime numbers are those in which there is a SCF is 1, whose SCF highest common factor is 1. It means that there should not be any common factor among the numbers. So for 36, 12 into 3 is there, 9 into 4 is there, 18 into 2 is also there. Are they co-prime? No. Because 18 and 2, the SCF is 2. Highest common factor is 2, so they are not co-prime number. 12 and 3 are the co-prime no because their SCF is 3. So whenever we need to check the divisibility by 36, number should be divisible by both 9 and 4. 9 and 4. So for composite number, you have to break the number into product of 2 or 3 numbers, co-prime numbers and check the divisibility by all. For example, 72. Now 72 would be 36 into 2. 24 into 3, 4 into 18, 12 into 6, 8 into 9. Now, for divisibility by 72, what we will check? We have to break the 72 into product of two co-prime numbers. They are not co-prime, they are not co-prime, not co-prime, not co-prime. 8 and 9 are co-prime number because their SCF is 1. So it means that whenever you need to check the divisibility by 72, any number is divisible by 72, we check that we will check that number should be divisible by both 8 as well as 9. Then only the number is divisible by 8. For 8, we know that we have to check the last three digits, and for 9, we have to check the sum of digits. So that is rule for 72. Not only uh, not always necessary that we have to break the number into two co-prime number we can have three or four also 60 now 60 is 10 into 6 12 into 5 15 into 4 and so on the co-prime would be 12 into 5 and 15 10 into 6 is not co-prime because their scf is 2 you can see that so 12 into 5 it means that whenever i need to check the divisibility by 60 number should be divisible by 12 as well as 5 or 15 as well as 4 both are valid but we don't have any rule for 12 12 i will break as 4 into 3 into 5 15 i don't have any rule i have not told you any rule for 15 so 15 will break as 5 into 3 now for 60 you can see that both are same for 60 number should be divisible by all of 3 4 and 5 
if a number is divisible by 3 as well as 4 as well as 5 then only the number is divisible by 60 and what about 99 straight away you should remember 11 into 9 they are co prime so for 99 we will check the number should be divisible by both 11 and 9 if the number is divisible by both 11 and 9 the number is divisible by 99 same way for 88 number should be 11 into 8 number should be divisible by both 11 and 8 then only the number is divisible by 88 so that is a basic concept on uh, checking the divisibility or solving the question based on divisibility by big number you don't have to learn any extra concept the only concept is that you have to break the big number into product of co prime numbers and check the divisibility by whole next is 1001 is very very important number in case of divisibility 1001 is 7 into 11 into 13 it means that 1001 is 7 into 11 into 13 this concept i will explain in the questions how what is the use of this concept now let's solve some questions based on the divisibility question number one is for example i am giving you Question 1 is 2357x40. This is divisible by 72. Find the value of x. Now you should try to solve yourself, then look at the way I have solved. This will be act as a practice exercise for you. Now 72, how to check the divisibility by 72? We will break this number into product of co prime numbers. That is 8 into 9 because their SF is 1. It means that if a number is divisible by 8 as well as 9, the number is divisible by 72. Now this number is given to us is divisible by 72 it means that this number is divisible by 8 as well as 9. Now this number is divisible by 8 it means last 3 digits are divisible by 8 because divisibility by 8 I told you that we have to do the last 3 digits. Now given that the number is divisible by 8 it means that last 3 digits are divisible by 8. Can we break like this is x into 100 plus 40 this is divisible by 8 x40 I have break down into x into 100 plus 40 where x is a single digit number now this is divisible by 8 into means final remainder should be 0 now again apply the basic remainder concept replace number with remainder here the remainder is 0 40 is divisible by 8 now what should the value of x is that x into 100 is divisible by 8 now x can be 0 because 0 into 100 0 will be divisible by 8 x can't be 1 because 100 is not divisible by 8 x can be 2 2 into 100 200 by 8 divisible by 8 x can't be 3 so x will be one number 0 2 4 6 and 8 these will be value of x if you put x 0 or 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 then into 100 will be divisible by 8 because 40 is already divisible by 8 we need here also the remainder should be 0 so that overall remainder is 0 it means that x 40 is divisible by 8 which is given to us now these are 5 possible values of x now we have checked only the divisibility by 8 what about 9 9 rule was that sum of digits must be divisible by 9 so sum of digits here it is given that number is divisible by 72 it means that sum of numbers is divisible by 9 sum this 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 7 17 plus 4 21 plus 0 plus x so 21 plus x sum of digits is divisible by 9 now what should be the value of x now we know that 9, 9 1s are 9, 9 2s are 18, 9 3 is are 27 will be divisible by 9. So x would be definitely 6. x can't be anything else. Because multiple of 9 are 18, 21 plus x can't be 18 because x can't be negative, x is a single digit number. Now next multiple of, uh, th that we make 27. So for a 27, 21 plus x 27, this number is, should be x would be how much? x x would be 6 now next is 36 for 36 
x should be 15 which is not possible x can't be 15 so only possibility for uh, 21 plus x is divisible by 9 that x should be 6 because x 6 21 plus 6 27 27 is divisible by 9 uh, now these were the possible values of x 0 2 4 6 and 8 so only valid value and this these values we have taken when the number is divisible by 8 but when divisible by 9 x is only 6 possible so overall what is the value of x that is 6 for 6 number is divisible by 8 as well as 9 that is 72 so it means that the value of x is 2 whenever the, oh, 6 whenever the value of x is 6 this number is divisible by 72 and x is 6 is equals final answer now next question is 1 2 3 4 5 6 10 11 12 and so on so on this is up to 100 digits divided by 8 what will be the remainder now very important thing here to understand is that these are this is not up to 100 up to 100 digits so can i say this number is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 digits are this after then when the number become 10 it include two digits 10 11 12 can i say if i 90 digits because each number consists of two digits so 90 digit will make 45 numbers and 45 numbers from 10 would be up to 44 so 10 to 44 there are total 45 numbers and which will make 90 digits these 10 to 44 their total numbers are 45 how to calculate 44 minus 10 plus 1 and digits will be 90 because this 10 consists of two digits this 11 consists of two digits this 12 also consists of two digits so total 99 digits one more digit next number would be 45 but we don't have to take two digits we can only take one because 99 digits we have already taken so this will be 4 4 and 4 now this number is divided by 8 we need to find the remainder now I told you that while checking divisibility by 8 you only need to check the last three digits so last three digits are 444 so I will break this number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 before 44 there will be 43 this into 10 q plus last three digit 444 divided by 8 now we know that this number is always divisible by 8 that's why we check the last three digits this is multiple of thousand this will give you remainder 0 by 8 now we need to find the remainder only by this 444 divided by 8 what will be the remainder now 8 5s are 40 again your remainder would be 4 8 5s are 40 the final remainder would be 4 so 0 plus 4 remainder would be 4 and that will be your final answer so the main part in these kind of question it can be 16 also it can be th up to 1000 digit also but the concept is same you have to calculate uh, the number till 1000 100 digits so 44 it will make 99 digits next number will be 45 we will take only the first uh, uh, digits that is 4 total will be 100 and then you check the divisibility for the last three digits so answer is 4 next is a six digit number of the form abc abc this is always divisible by options are 7 11 91 143 and all of this now please try to solve yourself then look at the way i have solved now abc abc where abc are the single digits single digits and a can't be equals to zero otherwise it won't be a six digit number can i see abc abc can be broken as abc into thousand plus abc for example 4 2 3 4 2 3 this is the kind of number this can be written as 4 2 3 into 1000 plus 4 2 3 what's the problem so same way abc abc can be written as abc into 100 thousand plus abc if you take uh, abc comma in case 423 common you will left with thousand plus one and here it will be 
if you take abc common it will be 1000 plus 1 so finally your number would be abc into 1001 this is the number so can i say either you can say that abc into 1001 or you can say that abc abc both are the same thing now this is what abc into 7 into 11 into 13 now this number is divisible by which this is divisible by 7 this is divisible by 11 this is divisible by 13 not only 7 11 13 this is 7 into 11 77 divisible also this is divisible by 7 into 13 91 13 into 11 143 and also this is divisible by 1001 which is 7 into 11 into 13 so that's why i told you 1001 is very critical important number this equals 7 into 11 into 13 so it means that all of this will be our answer this number is divisible by 7 11 91 143 1001 77 now what what new concept we learned here is that if a number is divisible by if a number is divisible by k this n is divisible by all factors of k very important all factor number is divisible by k number will be divisible by all factors of k for example if n is divisible by 12 n is divisible by 12 remainder is 0 n will always be divisible by all factors of 12 that is n will be divisible by 2 3 6 and 12 all factors of 12 for example 96 is divisible by 12 remainder is 0 so we can see that 96 is divisible by 2 3 6 and 12 same way if number is divisible by 1001 remainder is 0 n is divisible by 1001 remainder is 0 n is always divisible by all factors all factors of 1001 that is what is 1001 7 into 11 into 13 all factors factors would be 7 11 13 77 91 143 and 1001 and so on so if a number is divisible by k number is always divisible by factors of k also if a number is divisible by let's say number is divisible by uh, let's say 63 then the number is divisible by n is also divisible by factors of 63 that is 7 as well as 9 so a number is divisible by 63 number is divisible by all factors of 60 that is 7 9 63 3 and so on so on so very important concept that was all about this lesson next lesson i will continue with more on divisibility thank you